what's up youtube loop troop loopy fist back again with another deck uh so obviously we got two cards this week we got scream and we got agent venom agent venom probably gonna be the more versatile car but scream might be a little bit more fun but i'm just gonna show you guys this deck that we got right here and this one focuses on agent venom and, and and it's a really good deck a, a lot of people were playing bounce decks like this with agent venom and i think that this is really prime where he's gonna go i originally tried to put him in cerebro 4 but cerebro is just so topsy-turvy i think cerebro 3 is the like all-time winner for cerebro simply because you have so many different options to change locations you don't need and you also have a lot of options when it comes down to just having a good amount of power and also being able to play those cards out because it's, it's so many cards you can swap in and out with that deck but this was super fun to play with we uh ranked up from uh like about 73 i think no we went from like from we got to 83 today that's what we got to we ranked up a little bit more so we could keep going and i think war of attrition we would we would we would we would eventually get too infinite with this deck but you know me i like to play a different deck every single day but we got hit monkey in here we got bishop so you know where we're going we got bounce stuff too with beast and falcon main goal is you really want to play agent venom on turn two turn three play fastos if you play fastos um before agent venom you kind of can overwrite some stuff it's okay but typically it's better to do them in the other order which is cool because agent venom is a two cost card and fast is a three so it's very many times you have to get that combo off we got kitty in here sometimes she can get to six before you even um have her which is awesome but also with fast those you are still bringing the cost of things down so you just have a lot of good cards now i would like to have more one drops in this deck because i mean and they just work out really well with the whole Falcon and Black Swan combo on turn five. But you don't really have to have it. Having the three is fine. And also with Beast lowering the cost of things, you just gotta, you just gotta play it out. Now, I will tell you this, bounce decks are a little bit harder to play than typical decks in Marvel Snap. That's just basically because you have a lot of pieces you having to think about how much power this is gonna be. It's a lot, it's a lot more, it's just a lot more brain juice flowing up here than it does to just lay down, you know, hella on turn six or to just lay down infinite after doing War Machine. It takes a lot more brain power. No offense to any of you guys out there playing those decks like that, but hey, I'm just saying. So I hope you guys enjoy this deck. Tell me if you like it in the chat. What would you swap out? Tell me that. Give me, you know, I want to get things moving in the chat. If you got something you want to say about the deck, say it. Tell me. I'm all ears, baby. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Kitty first. Oh, wow. This is a bot. But I got my kitty. I don't really care about that. That's terror terrifying. I'm going to put Fastos on the left. That way that he can actually get put into deep space and I can save save room for other things. And next turn we can do kitty and next turn we'll do kitty and bishop or i can do venom and kitty i'm just gonna go ahead and snap he's winning i don't i don't I don't want, I mean, I would like for them to be winning after this, but there's not much I can do really. Ah. This is, this is honestly a great deck to be winning with bots. I mean, be, to play against bots with. I don't really have anything to do with the uh, the bishop and whatnot, so. Uh, what are you still? Do you still my rocket? 
We don't have black spawn, so no reason to do black. There's no reason to do falcon, I guess. He did not. Seems good to me. Too bad I'm winning already. Falcon first. Why? Falcon first. I think this is a bot, guys. The name is Sheev. Oh my. Oh my. Maybe it's not a bot. Bots don't take this long to make decisions. I mean, I'll tell you guys what, if you like making marinara sauce, best thing you can do is get an immersion blender. That ain't fair. Scream decks are fun, they are fun. place he didn't play a card funny funnily enough the one place he did not play a card beats this even with like because this is never gonna be like because this this even if this even if he gets a hit from each one of these every single turn from now on that's turn four five and six so that's three times three which is nine more power right so nine more power on top of this is only 17 unless he has blue marvel blue marvel could could screw that up for us He has blue marble, so now I have to be careful. There's no reason to do Agent Venom anymore, I don't think. Or I could still use him. I can put Agent Venom over here on the right and that'll win that for me. I don't have a way to make all these cards cost less again, so.
I can activate this. Wait, why would I do that? Oh, fuck. I think it really comes down to. I, oh, well, no, he won't be able to get the more than that, probably. I mean, how much is Gilgamesh going to be? Everything here is buffing. If he has Gilgamesh. She probably does. Which one is going to be the most? Definitely that. This has the most potential. So one, two, three, four. So we're adding four power. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. Well, we're adding uh, eight power on top of hit monkey. So eight plus nine, which is 17. So it's going to be adding 17. So 20 plus another. Twenty, twenty-four, and another eight, so like thirty-two. I think. I think we win. If he has Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh is what seven, seven plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perhaps ten. So seventeen. So he'll be at like nineteen. We should still win. I think we should still win. We'll have like 30 some points in the middle, right? <sighs> Unless he has Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi could end us. Mockingbird and Hydra Bob. That's not gonna be enough for him. Up, my boy. Yo, what's up, Cursed? Yeah, we should be a okay. Thank you for the eight cues. My friend did the math. Yo, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate the hell out of it. I hope you have had a fantastic time away. All right, what are we going to get from X mansion? I guess is another question. Ugh, Necrotia. Yo, that's not terrible. I think I just won that. If I, if somebody asked me, I'd probably say I won that right there. How do I like Agent Venom? This is my first day really playing with him. I played with him some on the on the first day he was out, but not a lot. He's fun. He's really good. Don't ask me how I knew they play on the right. I just took a guess. Now what's gonna really suck is that I'm not gonna be able to get back all of these. I am not gonna be able to get back all these one drops. We got what, how many in here? Oh my God. I was able to get back all these one drops and I still get a pull. Let's see, this is not the best. Instead of doing that, I can probably put kitty over here and do this. And he has to play over here and do that. I think this works out. Let's see. Oh, he didn't play anything on the right. What's he got? What's he got? So we, if he has Killmonger, I'll be so mad. 
No way, right? Oh, Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And Kitty. Great. We still took it over. Oh my God. That was that was a lot closer than it looked. I appreciate all of my supporters. You guys make every day feel like Friday. Except for Friday. Friday feels like Friday because it's Friday. Six days out of the week, though. Six days out of the week. You got you got me. Man, it's been fat. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Wait, what they say? They go on your head. These nuts. <laughs> These nuts go on your head. God. Look at this dude. You think he's playing, um, what you call it? Title or whatever. Pants, they be on your head. Pants are on my head. Sure, dude. This is gonna be seven to be 10 power right here. Well, he doesn't know add another five on Jeff. He doesn't know about Jeff. Maybe he doesn't have his war machine. See what happens if I do this and this. How much will these cards cost next turn? Um, well, this will be free. This will, I wouldn't play this though. I think I do this. I think this is the, the way. Cause we don't know what he's gonna have. He has White Widow. So we play Jeff here. We'll play Rocket over here. This over here. That seems like the play. And that's why we boomer snapped. Cause I didn't know if he was gonna play something silly or whatnot, but you know. What's he doing? Doom and gloom. You're gonna get casserole, baby. You're gonna get put in a goddamn two by three pan. And we're gonna layer you with an assortment of items, dude. You're gonna get casserole. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great Spooktober.